Hey, 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 hey Jake. Man. Yo, Jake, you here? Yeah, I'm still here, bro. Who's the biggest snitch in the game? Other than 6 9 uh, Like the biggest. All of them. Right. How you gonna take how you gonna take your homeboy out of the equation? No, 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 hold on. Because 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 here's the thing. No, no, I'm gonna tell you how I take him out of the equation. Because when everybody thinks it's everybody's comfortable, even me, everybody's comfortable with saying, okay, he told. But nobody's ever comfortable with saying nobody else's name. And that's why that's why you can't respect the game. Because they act like snitching was only invented by one person and did one per by one person. There's mad people telling. So all right, listen, you all right, all right, you all right. What's the top three snitches? So you can name six nine. The, give me the top three. Like NBA nigga. <laughs> give me the power ranking of snitching right now. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Alpo got to be up there, but as far as like, the new rappers, I don't know. Let me ask it's a whoever question. got the most convictions under their belt. Let me whoever ask you a question. Whoever the most people. Did Ti did Ti got... snitch or did Ti got... just tell the truth and do a commercial and come home? <laughs> it's not like chops on white. If it was six nine, we'll do that. I'm calling snitch. It's digger on. It's digger on. We got six nine. We got Pop Gun. We got Pop Hunter. He's a couple niggas. Hey, out listen, here. Sir, even when you ask Jake this question, it take him a while to answer. <laughs> I want to yeah, know. I'll be because be, because I mean, with Ti, it's like Ti's case is confusing too. Because a lot of people thought that he told in the federal case. He told in an older case before he even caught the Fed case. So nobody even really was able to break down the Fed case and how the fuck he got off with that deal. He told in an older fucking like from old four or some shit. So you saying he might have been a habitual teller before that? Well, well, the case that he admitted to telling on his dead cousin was before the federal case when he was caught with the silencers and machine guns. Okay, you did three years. T.I. did a year and a day, and he got caught with grenades, landmines, bazookas, nukes, Nigga, you weapons of mass destruction. He said UAVs. <laughs> and a fucking UAV, my nigga. <laughs> Do you think that do you think that you sh that, that's something that you know what I mean a year and a day could suffice with or, or do you think that because honestly you know I've realized and, and and I'll give credit to 69 on this the feds because they rely on cracking their a lot of cases with cooperants there's such a negative stigma around cooperants they have kind of realized how to make it where they if they really care about you or they really care about the case they could protect they could protect you in a way that it's hard to figure out if someone told. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like people love saying paperwork, paperwork, but like like again, you might like 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 okay, even for Gunner, it says, oh, Gunner has to quote unquote cooperate by testifying. But we don't know if 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 Gunner sat down with them for eight hours and basically went through everything he's ever been a part of and detailed it or everything he's ever seen, but not did. You know what I mean? And granted, of course he put the statement. I've never been interviewed, but he said a lot in that statement that he never did that. You clearly know he did. So that's kind of the extent of the thing. And from what I'm hearing, like, you know, a lot of times a prosecutor could kind of a prosecutor or a judge could kind of hide the fact of how much you cooperate. They, they could make a regular plea, what looks like a regular plea, be a, be a, be a nigga who's, like, completely telling. See, I don't think they're going to be able to do that for this case. Well, if it goes to trial. Yeah, I don't I don't think they'll be able to, because, you know, the feds, they can work their magic, but for this, and it's a state case. and I mean, they already fucked up, because, bro, once I, uh, once I did the video on Woody, the first or whatever the first video was that I did, that's when the news came out and they were like, oh, you know, we got to put him in PC now, this and that, da 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 And it's like, I don't even think they realized how much paperwork was already in their court site, was already available. You know what I mean? So Wait, how the just, fuck if he tells in this, it's going to be up there with the 6 9 case because the 6 9 his case was so big because no one had seen anything like that. And at the time, he was on the top. He was... Nobody was fucking with him in music. You know what I mean? A lot of people hated him and wanted to see that downfall. But, you know, how do somebody you get... commented AR Rab too, but he self snitched. Yeah, yeah. How do you get all the details from, um, like, because Fulton County, I remember when I was trying to pull some stuff, it basically says you have to go in and be there to get it. 
No, nah, hell no. You can you can do what it do. Mm. I can't I can't give out the sauce on how I yeah, yeah. operate the whole channel, but you feel me? We speak in person, I can Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Damn. Oh, I, hey. I, I wanna know why ain't nobody in the industry accepting Gunner as a rat. Cause they like Gunner. No, no, no. Here's a better yeah, it's question. Probably, it's probably gonna fuck up a lot of a lot of well, I mean, bro, like Say Cheese wanted to do an interview with me, and then I dropped the motherfucking uh, Spot Him Got Him video. I didn't even know that Say Cheese was managing him. But mm. apparently that fucked up a lot of the uh, collabs that he was about to do in music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, obviously I never did a Say Cheese interview after that. I thought that was the reason. But I reached out to Kevo, and he said, bro, I said, nah, he ain't got no pressure about that, whatever, whatever. But Gun is a bigger artist. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so I like just want to know. Don't don't wanna fuck it up. They don't want to fuck it up. Yo, I just want to know this, man. Which type of snitch do you respect the most? The snitch that says, yes, I ratted and I came home to a big bag. He's a says he ratted. Or the snitch who basically trying to go under the radar and probably going to pop back up as a real street nigga. Man, neither one. No. Ray, what type of question is that? Nigga. No, I'm serious. Yo, because, no, 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 because, no, no, listen, listen. Because I'm not, both of them are pussy. Okay, but which one do you respect more? I'm respecting Either the nigga they both me to go, Bro, I'm respecting hey. the nigga that's telling like, me. All right, hold on, all right. Yo, yo, like, for example, for example, I ain't going to lie to you. What, no matter what you think, I, I, you got to respect Alpo to a certain extent. That nigga was out here. Walking act, around, that nigga, bitch, stop it, bro. Nah, that nigga but listen, but listen, act, listen, no, is it is it respect or is it fear, right? Because I can fuck you up with this one too. And the chain gang, when you in the prison system, you got killers in there, six three, six five, two hundred, however many pounds, will stab the shit out of you when they fuck boys. You know what I'm saying? And you're not finna just walk up and call them gay, but you know that that's a gangster. You're not just gonna, you know, you're not gonna disrespect. Oh, you gay? Like he, he gonna kill you? Well, it could be respect. Now you might fear. not, you might not respect them. Like you, you're not gonna go out of your way to disrespect them. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you want some? You know what I mean? It could and be a lot of rats like a, that. He Alpo was a killer, but he was a snitch. And you got the same thing in prison. You got dudes as fucking boys that take ass, but will kill you if you speak on them. So, 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 so Jake, Jake, I'm uh, just trying to figure out if if you're on the same train as I'm waiting for Young Thug to speak for me to make my mind on Gunner. Well, I don't need to wait on Young Thug because it's like Young Thug's opinion is Young Thug's opinion. That's not my opinion. I already have my opinion. Mm. The whole Jake, fucking, the whole the whole point of a fucking Rico is proving that there's a gang, which is the entity. And that the gang members were committing crimes and furtherance of the fucking gang. And Gunner admitted he had knowledge of gang members doing exactly that. I don't need to hear that anything is. else. <laughs> but what if Young Thug come out and say that he told all the niggas to take that? Jake, would you feel different? He's not all right, all right. See, boom. This is because I, I've been hearing this shit. Everybody's like, what if Thug told him to say that? If Thug told them to plea out, that means Thug had prior knowledge that there was going to be a fucking Rico indictment, which means he would have moved the Glock with the switch out of his fucking house before they ran down in his house. No, I'm telling you, I, I'm saying if they now, like, it's a new thing, the lawyers are talking, or like Thug and Gunner somehow talk, and he's like, yo, take, tell these niggas, take, take the pleas. Like, Nigga, we're taking, I, yeah, I, I take still the, don't like it because wait, wait, why would he tell them to take the plea to hurt him? Any any communication between co defendants violates their plea deals. And Gunner's lawyer already came out and said he had no knowledge that they was gonna. I just I don't see it for that. But if you want to if you want to go by that, you can still tap in with the Crips that no. Gunner's supposed to be tied in with, and they saying he ain't even Crip no more because of the statement he already gave. Yo, listen, sir. here's the thing. The biggest statement that I was just like, it's an indictment into, even if you want to say, oh, maybe Thug said, yo, I, I'm caught up in a lot of shit. I'm going to have to sit down for a while. You take a plea. Like, it ain't going to affect me, whatever, whatever. This statement alone right here. This statement. I'm affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains Not this to one. You, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. Not this one. Game, Even though you this too. Right here. Yes, 
you have personal knowledge that people who are affiliated with the gang has committed crimes in furtherance of the gang. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, I'm like, like, yo. Why are they ignoring that? Nah, <laughs> see, nah, somebody like AJ ain't deny, bro. <laughs> I don't think they bro, get bro. like I, I just gotta that's hear like thug a big say it, bro. thing. Like that's not small. You gotta hear thug say it though. Like why? Y'all, y'all, y'all act like bro, this small, because bro. It's looking, it's big and it's a Rico. looking weird, bro. Yo, but this is this this is my thing though. You facing twenty years, they're gonna let you out with five years of probation just off of the strength that you said. Yeah, I know gang members committing crimes. Like you don't think oh, anyone would ask Hilbert's for further problem. information? Bro. Did the Hubbard problem? I don't get no. I don't get no sweet ass suspended sentences and shit. Yeah, like, Jake, Jake, who got you got ten years, but you serve him. What about his case, nigga? He got like fucking. What did he get? He got a low ass sentence for Rico. He got he got fifteen. Year, he got fifteen years in a state where you only got to serve like thirty five percent. You get locked up in the state of Florida. You got to serve eighty five percent of your sentence. It's the same as the feds. We got one of the strictest states. You got hey, states so in the South where you got to serve 20%. You'll get fucking 10 years, do a year in the county, got to serve a year in prison, and you get out after two years. Hey, so how did, how did, how did this go? Like, what? Like, yeah, how Hoodrich did you Pablo was sentenced to 15 years. You don't years. necessarily have to tell for that, right? Yeah, he was sentenced you know, to 15 I, I years a, and five to serve. I got a suspended serve. sentence in my case up here in Boston. They said I was chasing somebody with a gun. I got armed assault with intent to rob and assault with a dangerous weapon by means of a firearm. They didn't have enough evidence to take it to superior court. They said they would give me a suspended sentence, two and a half years probation. If I violate once, I got to do the whole two and a half years. So that's basically just a way to get people to cop out when they exactly. don't want you to go to oh, bro. Exactly. It's just, a, it's just a way. To, it could be a way to cop out in whatever instant. But in this, they're using it like, okay, boom, we're going to let you cop out to something sweet, but we want you to testify when you ask to testify.